Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Milan College Championship. I'm Noah Bessler, and I'm here with Kelly Robertson. We've got an exciting matchup today. Kelly, your thoughts? I'm interested to see how this is going to go forward. After all, we've seen how Spencer and Henry have been battling back and forth for this new title over and over and over again. I'm interested to see what strategies they're going to pull out. It's going to be a very interesting game, indeed. Yes, it is going to be an exciting one. Okay, so let's see what this opening is. It looks like Spencer's sitting down. Okay, he's getting ready to go. And we should be getting off shortly here. Let's see what he decides to do. Oh. Oh! He's pitch. Oh, he's going for a nice pitch and he's dropping it. He's going for the drop. I like this strategy coming from opening. Spencer. Yes, it is good a opening. very good opening. And he's going for a double take. That's very oh. good. All right. It's often. All right, and so that's Spencer. Let's see how Henry responds. Yes, but I very much like that opening from Spencer. Yes, it's a yes. strong opening. Gets the first blood drawn. It sets a precedent. Ooh, Ooh. That's definitely an interesting strategy by Henry. I'm not sure I like that very much. I no, I no, 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 no. You gotta give him credit. He's trying to go for it. As you see, he's going around he's going around the other side already. You gotta give him credit. He's going for it. Yes, it is a very bold strategy, but will it pay off for them? Let's see how Spencer responds. Yep. Oh, goes oh. with that one. I. Ah, he's going fast. He's going fast. And he, okay. Oh, oh, and hmm. He calls it. He calls it a day. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That was oh, a very oh, good oh, response, though. Yes. Yes, it is. How is Henry going to respond? Let's see. He's eyeing one. He is. Will he and, and, the... and, oh, oh, he switches oh, he's it up at the last what? moment. You oh go. my gosh! And he goes oh, back. He he's goes going back. back. He's going back. Oh my goodness, what a switch up by Henry. Oh wow, that was an exciting round. And he's up one. Okay, let's see how Spencer responds. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's, oh, okay. Oh, oh, he ties okay. it up, two each. He ties it up, he ties it up, it was very interesting. What do you think about the response from both players, each evenly matched? I think they're being a very aggressive in their plays, and I'm in very much enjoying it. I can't wait to see how, the, how many more strategies they're going to have to pull out, though. This can be a long game, and it's not going to end quickly. Oh, yes. It's going to be a long, good one. Yes. One thing I've always liked to pay attention to is mm -hmm. how each player's hold their little chips, right? Yeah. Because yep. some players like to hold them in the palm of their hand, while others just like to grip Group them with their over. fingers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's, how, that's how the pros do, at least. That's why, how I hear. Yeah. yeah. So Spencer oh. goes with the palm technique. Oh, mm. I like that. Mm. I like that. That's the sign of a palm professional palm? player. All right. All right. Yes. Let's and see. that was a very good play. This is both an evenly matched game. Both players at three. Yeah. You know, talking to Spencer just for the round, he's talking about how it took him a couple months. No, not even that. Like, it took him years just to try and get that palm technique down right. Cause like if you like, you just try and get it in your palm, and it just starts slipping out and spilling out, and it's, it's all over the place. Next thing you know, it's so like he's talking to Spencer, and he just had this fascinating story of how he would just practice every single day by putting water in his hand, and keep and he kept balancing it. Well, yes, it is a very good practice to put water in your hand and try and keep as much of it in your hand as possible. And you can see that technique really paying off with the use of the chips in the hand. All right. Yes. So it looks like Spencer is jumping out to an early lead with yes. five against three. Yes. But I wouldn't trust Henry not to make a huge comeback here. You're right. You're right. I'm curious to see how Henry's going to respond. Oh, yes. Well, we've seen him make the miraculous comeback against George last week, and that was just a fabulous game. That is true. That was a um, jaw-dropper there. Oh, yes. The last-minute comeback. Oh, my gosh. Go check that game out if you haven't seen it. But this one's shaping to be very interesting as well. All right. So Henry responds. And now he's at a much less of a de deficit. He was at four, but now he's only down two. See? 
Oh, here we go. Okay. You see, you see if... Henry almost struggling to pick up the chips. Yeah. I wonder if that's because of poor technique or not I'm... picking enough picking up with the water. I yeah, he's not, he doesn't have the water technique down uh, enough. He needs to review his basics again. Yes, and that's what you get with the newer players, you know? Yeah. Spencer is a very experienced player. Well, Henry's still fairly new to the game. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't count out Henry. He's still very good. Oh. Oh. And Spencer... Oh, and Spencer's clapping back. Oh, my gosh. You know, what a response! What a oh, response! Oh, and he goes for another one! Oh my gosh, a jaw-dropping response! Yes, this game really is heating up very quick. Speaking of he heating up, I would like to mention that our sponsor of the game is Firestone Grills. Some amazing grills. Firestone Grills, where to get the best steak. Well, thank you. That, that's our sponsor for the game. I must say, I love the music in the background. It really adds to the intensity of this event. It just increases the tension to an insane amount. You can cut the tension in the room with a butter knife. Oh yes, oh yes. You wouldn't even need a butter knife. You might be able to do it with a spoon. It is getting very tense down on down there on the field. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh maneuver? my gosh, wow. We're, we're sitting here talking, we're seeing pro play being done. Oh my gosh, this has really been a fascinating event, and we're really oh, getting down to it. Is he going for it? Is he going for it? Oh my he going gosh! For it? And he gets Whoa. it! He goes in for the double tap! Oh my goodness! You don't see it wow. very often, folks! This is really shaping up to be one of the greatest finales in the history Legends of Moncala. How, Let's how, see how, how Henry are. responds. Yeah, yeah, okay, how, I like this that. tactic. I like this tactic. I like it, but he has to step more if he wants to catch up. Oh yes, oh yes. It, look, it still looks like it's going to be a very close game, though. No player has really shown that they have a, an advantage. It's yes. been very subtle who's winning. The intensity between the two players is really going in Henry's favor. You know, he is a very intense player. He's very intimidating on the yes, field. Yes. And so Spencer's going to have to combat that with something because he doesn't have that same intensity that Henry does. But he does have more experience. So we'll see how this game shapes up. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice is bland. Grammarly's cutting edge technology helps you craft compelling, understandable writing that makes an impact on your reader. Much better. Are you ready to give it a try? Installation is simple and free. Visit Grammarly.com today. Oh, oh, a bit of a slip oh, up. Oh, okay. A bit of a slip up, but it's all right. It's all right. You're bound to see that in some of the newer players. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, slip ups seem to be very common when new players arrive, but you never see that same type of mistakes when, oh, wait, oh. we see him okay. buttoning up his shirt. Oh, we're going for the button. Wow. That's how you combat that intensity that Henry has. That okay. is intimidating. Shrug it off. I shrug it off and button that shirt up. Oh yes, oh yes. No, Noah. Yeah. This is reminding me, for some reason, about my uh, luggage while I was packing when we were coming to the uh, championship. Oh wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, that slip up. That slip piece up. Fell out you of cannot the board. make those mistakes at this level. Oh my gosh. He recovered though fine. He recovered, he recovered though he fine. Recovered, He's still in the game. He's still in the game. What were you saying, Kelly? I was talking about my luggage. And it's just reminding me, watching the game, that it inadvertently reminded me 
I remember I'm always packing those things, and they, they always have the towels, they always have the towels out. And I always remember, like, all the people are like, oh, take the towel, take the towel, and I'm like, no, no, I don't want to take the towel. Because, like, like, the problem with taking the towel, I, like, after all, like, you put the towel in your luggage, and you're just trying, you're like, you're pushing it, you're pushing the, your, your suitcase down. You're trying to, like, shake it and get your suitcase down, but there's too much towel. And it's just, that kind of reminded me when we were seeing Henry go for Henry go for that play, and there were just too many beads to get in, and they just fell out. And it was just, that was reminding me the other day, because I was just coming to that realization while I was packing my luggage the other day at our hotel when we were moving over to this uh, location to film the championship of the game. Well, that is true. You know what they say about Henry. He is the wet towel of Moncala. They do say that. I would also like to mention that this game is sponsored by Firestone Grills. Very nice grills. Where to get the best Caesar salads in town. All right, and we're back right. with the finals of Moncalo. We've got an exciting match between Spencer it's and Henry. Rounds. It's getting to be the end of it. We've got a lot of pieces with both players, and it's very close. It is very hard to tell who's winning, but we're getting down to the final pieces. And go either way, folks. The way I see it, there are both four pieces on either side of the board. So, it is just a race to see who can get them both in their pile first. And I must say, it looks like Spencer has the advantage here. He's got all of his pieces in the farther half of his board. Yeah. Wow, Henry still has one on his side. Oh, and he chooses to move those up before. Oh, I like this play. I like this. Is a this very good maneuver. He is now maneuver, up, man. and he is much closer to getting those in. But let's see how Spence responds. Oh. Oh, my gosh. He goes this, could it. this could be it. This oh could be it. Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 oh, my wait, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. What a finish. What a finish oh, by Spencer. Respond. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. gosh. Okay. Now comes the real test. Who won? Now we wait, count wait, them up. Wait, I'm here. Oh, 25. 25. 25. Wow. Wow. What a showing. What a showing by Spencer. But will Henry's response be enough? Let's see. Oh, it's it looks close. It looks beyond close. Oh, my gosh. The championship, the finals goes to... Oh my gosh, oh my Spencer oh takes it! Oh 25 to 23! Oh my gosh, what a finish at the championship of Montala! And here we see the champion, Spencer. There he is. His purple shirt. Oh my god. He's confident. Wow. What a showing by the veteran. Oh my gosh, what a game. Experience trumps beginners. Experience oh, yes. Oh, yes. Those who might have a slight edge at first. You know, this might just go down as the best game in Moncala history. 